you been? Me? I've been waiting for you, man. Any updates? Got him on national TV. Listen up. Servants, whatever is happening in Rachel is currently beyond our understanding. Whoops. Hold I it. Yeah, Foster was too damn jumpy. You were right. What happened? I usually am. We have no reason to think that there will be any recurrence of the incident. Our thoughts and prayers go out to that. All right, move. I'm coming over. Give me a couple of minutes. I gotta wrap up something real quick. There are still no hard facts regarding the cause of the terrible accident that took place this morning in the town of Rachel, Nevada. A school bus carrying 40 students from Clover High School overturned, turning what should have been an ordinary school trip into a tragedy. Unfortunately, two deaths have already been confirmed. At the time of the accident, a series of unexplained tremors were reported in the neighboring area, causing extensive damage to buildings, and a growing sense of alarm among local residents. The causes of the incident are still unknown. The town is famous all over the world for local urban legends featuring alleged supernatural phenomena, and for its proximity to Groom Lake USAF Flight Development Center, better known as Area 51, making the town a popular tourist destination. That's the green light from the DOT. Finally, we're good to go. It's code red. It only took them 10 hours to figure it out. They must have pulled out all the stops. Let me guess. Are we leaving? Damn straight. Get your ass off that chair. Foster's orders. It's effective immediately, and you do not want to keep him waiting. At your command, Major. What are you doing? I have a surprise for you. A prototype from my college days. I abandoned it a while back, but I just started working on it again. What the hell is that? That's gratitude for you. Come on, give me your arm. I needed to test the device. So, what do you think? Data interchange device. D-I-D. It detects your location in real time. Are you sure this thing won't rip my arm off? Come on, give me a break. I'll need it to keep track of your ass when you get lost. I'm gonna rendezvous with Foster. Join us at the heliport. We leave in a few minutes. Got it. in a good mood. Is that a good sign? At ease, Reyes. We have a code red. With immediate effect and maximum secrecy. Destination, Area 51. Don't get carried away. It isn't an episode of your favorite TV show. When you're ready, some of the mission information is classified by order of the Department of Defense. But what you need to know is very simple. We have to meet a certain Dr. Noah Anderson, the only person who managed to communicate with the outside world following the incident. Yeah, who is this Anderson? I don't have all the details. All I know, he's one of the eggheads in charge of the government program they were working on down there. Codename, Project Hoax. I'm no scientist, but I'd say something didn't go according to plan. <laughs> Maybe somebody pressed the wrong button. <laughs> what were they working on? Well, Reyes, that's exactly the kind of question we aren't supposed to ask. 
The instructions from the DOD were clear. Meet the contact and retrieve the briefcase. That's what you get paid for. That's all you need to know. We have to collect a package, basically. And a package of a certain value, given that the commander is coming along for the ride. That's correct. My personal supervision was requested. I'll fill you in during the flight. Let's move out. There's no time to waste. internal issue that makes the operation, well, delicate from a diplomatic point of view. Give it to us straight. After Rachel, the President sealed the base for all military forces. Nobody can get in or out except his own men. The HCO's people have been on site for a few hours, escorted by a special squadron reporting directly to him. HCO? Why bring in scientists? I'd be more worried about Section 8. Mr. President's calling the shots. He's trying to get a clear picture. Obviously, the Secretary's hiding something, but since he's the one who writes the checks... This is a federal communication from the United States government. Caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no-fly zone are canceled with immediate effect. Reverse Sounds like the President agency. won't be I welcoming mean, us caution. with open no arms. Permits. Yeah, if he doesn't sick his guard dogs on us. Don't worry. We'll soon put his mind at ease. But only after the DOD has secured the contents of that briefcase. That's why it's essential that we locate the contact before them and, if necessary, make their visit a little more eventful. No flight zones are canceled with immediate effect. I repeat, caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no flight This is it. The President's Welcome Committee. Reverse your direction of flight immediately. I repeat, any unauthorized aircraft will be shut down on site. As you move up the hillside, you should be out of their line of sight. Don't keep me waiting. Weird. Base camp looks deserted. Move out. Eyes open. This isn't the welcome I was expecting. You never abandoned a base camp. Something must have happened. Too easy. They left something behind. Check it out. This is the real deal. 
Looks like they used it to unlock the security system and access the facility. I don't understand. It looks like it melted. The control panel is gone. Gone too. I'll have to find another way. And quickly too. That's why you're here. Find a way to get us in. Okay. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. What the? What the fuck was that? Something's going on. I just intercepted a message from God knows where. It didn't sound good. This is getting weird. Eyes open, Reyes. Sucks having to wait, huh? Hey, Radek, are you receiving me? Five by five. I've got the electricity back on. If I can access the facility's mainframe, I should be able to take control of the auxiliary generators and bypass security. Yeah, we're glad you're having fun with your toys, MacGyver. Just open this fucking door. Troglodytes. Everything should be operational. Please confirm. Yeah, I confirm. Door's open now. Reyes, get back here right now. We wasted too much time already. Okay. <laughs> Shit! This electrical system is completely fucked! is blocked by an alarm system. I need a few minutes. We're out of time. I'll see you inside. I'll find a way. Ah, okay. Let's keep in radio contact. Question. Listen, we've been attacked by something. We weren't prepared for this shit. Proceed with extreme caution. What the fuck are you talking about? Section 8? No, there's still no trace of them. We don't know what the hell it is. Let's find this fucking Anderson and get out of here as soon as possible. Hey, Rodak. I'm in a weird laboratory. I found more Section 8 corpses. Yeah, we, uh, also found bodies. Fuckers were burned to a crisp. Anyway, we're moving towards our goal. We've located the contact and the Okay, I'll join you as soon as I find a way out of here. All containment measures will be deactivated. ball of energy just bring it back to life? Screw. 
have to move! So you can be friendly if you feel like it. You need to be an asshole. What happened to you? Ugh, save your resuscitation techniques for those two nice guys down there. Don't be a dick. What happened? Where's Foster? He's chasing an old friend. What? We found the contact with Section 8 got there before us. They tried to negotiate. They didn't want any trouble. But you were in a hurry, right? Not me this time. It was the commander. He was in no mood for small talk. He blew the briefcase out of Anderson's grip along with most of his arm. He shot the contact? Yeah. <laughs> kind of took me by surprise. Where's the briefcase? He took it. We killed two of them, but then... That guy... The one who took me out, even Foster couldn't hit him. I don't know what happened to him. Who are you talking about? He was Session 8. Foster called him Gora. He was given orders like he was straight from the goddamn movies, but he wasn't fucking around. He and Foster seemed to know each other. Maybe that's why they were playing nice at first, or maybe the whole thing was just a fucking trap. Calm down. You can't stand. You'll have to wait here. We have the briefcase. We'll be out of here soon. Uh, if we find Foster before Gora does. Whatever it is, it's a big deal. Foss talks about it like it's the holy fucking grail. Jesus Christ, Roddick. Haven't you seen what's out there? Yeah, I have. I can't explain it. They seem to be animated by some kind of electromagnetic anomaly. Have you been playing scientists with those goddamn monsters? I found a laboratory. They were researching some kind of metal. It must have something to do with all this. Listen. Foster knows a lot more than he's letting on. But you should stay out of this. You're not prepared for this. You need to get out of here right what? now. No way. Get back out there. You need to wait for Foster and me to wrap things up. We don't need you here. Are you kidding? You can barely move. Look at you. Haven't you noticed? Bullets are not enough. You'll get fried as soon as you step out that door. They broke my radio. If we split up, we won't even be able to communicate. Exactly. You need to stay here. I'm going to find Foster. Absolutely not! Are you serious? I... I am giving you an order, Reyes. Listen. Do you think I'm scared of any of it? This place? Or fucking court-martial? You said so yourself. All I have to go back to is an empty apartment. I can't lose you two. Reyes. Get out of here! Reyes! Open this goddamn door! Who the hell are you? And what are you? Fuck. You're nothing but a coward. A disgusting, traitorous coward. You got what you deserved. Did you really think you could make it? You managed to kill a lot of them with that device, but you'll need more than liquid nitrogen to survive hell. <laughs> you need courage, perseverance. I feel sorry for you. You chose the wrong path, and now you're lost forever. But not you. You aren't lost yet. 
This proton pack thing works. I mean, that's some next level engineering. Yeah, gross. But also really interesting. Oh. Hey! Shit. Stop! Put down the briefcase. I said, put it down! Please. Please don't shoot. You're from HCO, aren't you? Where did you get this? They, there was a gunfight. I was with the sergeant. Gora? Yeah, yes, a Hades soldier found us. He had it. He, he dropped it near me, and I... Where's he now? Uh, who? Where's this Hades soldier? I don't know. He and Gora were fighting. Then those monsters turned up, and I don't know. I ran away. Maybe Gora killed him. You've been hit. Don't try to move. He was the one who shot me. Your friend. Why are you doing this to us? Are you trying to silence us? People died here! I have no fucking idea what happened in this shithole. People need to know. You must know something. Those monsters. I saw them teleport with my own eyes. Tell me how. In theory, it shouldn't be possible. But they must have found a way. Matter transfer. That was the aim of the research. They actually pulled it off. Those motherfuckers. Revolution. An unprecedented technological advance. But how? What are those clusters of electricity? And why do they bring corpses back to life? <laughs> they were manipulating the structure of electromagnetic fields. It seemed like a baseless theory, but then they made a discovery that changed everything. In that briefcase, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> You're blind like everyone else. This is what you want, isn't it? It's the only thing you care about. You'll never get it! What do you want from me? No, don't come any closer. I didn't do anything to you. Get back, get back, leave me alone! <laughs> Vulcan, are you receiving me? I need an extraction point. 
I've recovered the briefcase. I repeat, I've recovered the briefcase. Shit. I'll have to get closer to the surface. I'm sorry, Foster, but I have to get this briefcase out of here. Vulcan! Thank God. I need an extraction point. I'm making my way back to the surface. It's a mess down here. What the hell is going on? I've lost contact with the others. I can't... Vulcan, get me out of here! I tried to warn you. Now with this storm, it's practically impossible to guarantee extraction. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need a precise location. Where the hell are you? I, I don't know. I'm climbing some kind of weird water tower. This place is a fucking death trap. I lost contact with Foster and Roddick got left behind. He's injured. As soon as I reach the surface, I'll be able to give you more details, if I make it in one piece. Holy hell. So that's where the rest of the plane went. Resisting, it will get easier. Breathe. What is it? <laughs> Fucking answer me! It is knowledge. It is truth. <laughs> I understand. I was just like you. Survival. The first commandment. The prime imperative. Let me out of here! But the question is, what are you living for? And above all, what uh, will you die for? A uh, little patience. You will soon be free, really free. You're lucky. You know, when I arrived here, there was nothing. Corridors leading nowhere. In the dark, an abyss lying in wait. At the end of each day. Ah, for the longest time, only one light illuminated it. Like a lighthouse in a storm. Then it happened. The order changed. I turned off that last light and the abyss became a peak from which to look out over everything else. What are you looking for when you gaze into the abyss? He's waiting for you. Okay, okay. Get her. You're almost there. Apparently, I wasn't that unprepared after all. Roddick, hold on. It's almost over. Vulcan, I made it outside, but I can't work out where I am. It's impossible to see anything in this storm. You're telling me? And it's getting worse. Oh, fuck. I, I can just about make out some pylons. If you give me a few minutes, I'll try to locate an extraction point. Okay, but hurry up. I can't keep this beast in the air for much longer. Any news from Foster? 
Foster? Negative. I need to find him. I know. But first, let's take care of the briefcase. As soon as it's safe, we'll take care of him, too. Okay. I'll try to work out where I am. Vulcan, I can see the lights of a helipad. Only for you. I can't see jack shit from up here. Okay. This is the plan. As soon as I reach the helipad, I'll try to signal the landing area to you. There must be flares on that tower. At least, I hope so. Copy. Proceed. Over and out. Commander, are you all right? Uh, things got pretty bad. I thought I'd seen everything, but I still managed to surprise me. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? This? It's a long story. Vulcan's coming for the extraction. I recovered... this. You managed to get hold of it? Don't act so surprised. On the contrary, that's why you're here. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Well done. The storm is getting worse. Can you walk? Sir! You were in Iraq, weren't you, Reyes? Yes, sir. So, you know that sometimes it's necessary to burn an oil well in order to avoid it falling into enemy hands. I've known Gora since 83. He was a hot-headed kid. He had already made a name for himself through his dedication, his initiative. But people like us, Reyes, we understand that whoever looks to war as a solution ends up being consumed by it. Was he... the one that wounded you? Yeah. I tried to stop, but... <laughs> that kid... has what it takes. He's always had it. Listen, Gora has no intention of... reporting to the President. He only believes in himself now. If the research ends up in his hands, God only knows who'll get hold of it. With all due respect, sir, to hell with Gora. Let's get that out of here as soon as possible. This is far from over. I have other orders. Do you know where this comes from? Down there is one of the most advanced experimentation centers on the planet. They call it the castle. It stretches miles underground. Operation Sandcastle was launched to stop Section 8 finding it. But I failed. Why didn't you tell us anything? Do you have any idea how important this is? We're talking about the most dangerous technology on the face of the Earth. I had my suspicions. Reyes, think. Look around you. That data can't be allowed to leave here. We have to reach the depths of the laboratory before Gora does and destroy it forever. Those are my orders. But maybe we can... That server must be destroyed, Reyes, or the whole world will burn. You have to understand, the Department of Defense can't trust anyone with this, not even Hades. Earlier, I found a dead Hades agent. He was wearing this. Then you know, there must be Hades operatives outside my command. It was someone I'd never seen before. There must be infiltrators. I don't know who's commanding. Where's Radic? Exactly where you left him. He's wounded. He couldn't carry on. 
where I left him. <laughs> he was the one who left me. What? In the middle of the fight with Section 8. Uh, apparently, Radic also has a price. That's not possible. I know Radic. He can't have betrayed us. Uh, so where the hell did he go? That's always been your weak spot, Reyes. Presuming you know better. I locked him in, in a warehouse. I checked his position not long ago. Uh, great. But I doubt he's still there. We'll have to watch out for him, too. It's just the two of us now. There's no time to waste. You'll have to complete the mission in my place. You can reach the underground facility through this ventilation shaft. I'll make sure the briefcase gets out in one piece. Then we'll go back to retrieve Radic. The Major owes us an explanation. That scientist. He was babbling about matter transfer experiments. Basically a teleporter. Do you know anything about that? What are those creatures, sir? That's just the tip of the iceberg, kid. Down there... There's so much more. And it needs to stay there. Commander, enough with the ambiguity. I'm ready to do what it takes, but I need to know what I'm heading into. Listen... I don't have the full picture. That technology originated... <laughs> Listen to me, Foster is dead. What? What the fuck are you saying? What? They shot him right in front of me. That's impossible. Fuck. Who was it? I don't know. Vulcan, the situation is far worse than we could have imagined. Foster gave me one last order. I have to go down. this for you. What are you? Are you with Hades? Your questions will not beget the answers you seek. But you are right. The shadow of our Lord Hades is rapidly spreading over this place. So the time has come for us Hades to make a choice. Look, I've had enough of your bullshit. What kind of game are you playing in this goddamn asylum? It's fucking absurd. What did you do to me in that room? Mm. You better answer, or else... Or else what? You forget that I just saved your life. This is not the time for answers. Now follow me, and when you are ready, 
you will understand. It even has its own transportation system. How big is this place? Hey, you... Abdom. You can call me Abdom. What the fuck? Tell me where we're going then, Abdom. Impatience is clouding your mind. At the end of this glorious day, you will thank me. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Yeah, sure. Enough already. Tell me where we are. Home. I'm sick of your bullshit. Like, fuck, I'll follow you in there. What do you want from me? Do you know Roddick? <laughs> hey, are you <sighs> You still don't understand. Don't take another step. Did you think I didn't know? You are not worthy to carry it. None of us are. Rest now. Don't you recognize me? It's me. No. You're not real. We are here. Look at me. I know you hate me. Stop it. Leave me alone. That's so you. Just like when we were kids. You close yourself away and won't let me reach out to you. But I always was there for you. And I still am. That's not true. You abandoned me. That wasn't what I wanted. E everyone said you were dead. I kept looking for you, and here we are. I've been waiting for you, Reis. Don't call me that. Stop. Get away. You must be important if he brought you here instead of just killing you. The door's open. Come on when you're ready. Strange. He must trust you. Maybe it's because of your uniform. Huh. Did he find a new girlfriend? Shh, be quiet! Under normal circumstances, Hades aren't welcome here. But, Aptum has always helped us out, so we'll make an exception for his sake. And you might have your uses as well. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Watch your mouth. We see and hear everything. We've been locked up in here for so long. As our guest, you should show some humility. She should leave, right? Do you want to go? No, Doctor. Then be quiet. Come and join us, my dear Hades.
Hey, you! Over here, look! There you are. You're pretty slow for one of those scumbags. No, don't do that. Shh, be quiet. I'm speaking. Who the hell are you? I'm the doctor. Uh, a doctor. A researcher, to be precise. And you are the new arrival. How are you feeling? I... Actually, I don't care. <laughs> the only thing that matters to me is getting out of here. We're stuck in this room. Would you help us, dear? Why should I help you? Well, because otherwise you'll rot in here, too. <laughs> We have total control of the entire facility from this room. So, I could let you out whenever I want. I just need a little convincing. Okay. Let's say I believe you. What do you want in return? I've got news for you. We're short of oxygen. We need to reactivate the ventilation system before we all move on to a better life. We tried praying, but that didn't work. Oh, so much for being in total control. Touché. Anyway, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. You'll have to get to the technical area. We tried before, but uh, nobody made it back. Now we've run out of volunteers. But don't worry. I'll guide you. I guess I don't have a choice. Hmm. That was easier than I anticipated. The Hades I remember were a little less... compliant. Are you sure you're all right? Do you want my help or not? That big door, on the other hand, is the one I'll be opening to let you out. Maybe. <laughs> I know you're judging us. But before all this... Oh, back then, everything was perfect. We at U.S. Progress have lived through incredible times. We had a dream. The Abyss Scan Program. I was responsible for one of the most innovative research projects in history. Until you people turned up. We refused to do your dirty work. To sacrifice human lives. To transfer matter at any cost. So many innocent souls. So much unimaginable pain. We refused to cooperate. And they locked us up. But they paid for it. A seismic shockwave and then... Those beings arrived. By the way, have you noticed those electrical devices scattered around? They're for isolating electromagnetic fields. It's the only way to keep them at bay. Oh. Sorry, where was I? The Abyss Scan Program. Never heard of it. One thing at a time. Hey, Doctor, can you hear me? ventilation system has started working again. Incredible! You saved us! You can't be Hades. Cut the crap, you owe me an explanation. You've earned our trust, dear. Join us. We have much to discuss. There you are. Complete purification will take a few more minutes. You'd better keep that mask on until it's finished. You promised me an explanation. And you'll get one. You earned it. Then let's start with those abominations you created. We didn't create a damn thing. We were the global elite of scientific research. Too bad about the Nobel Prize. Maybe next time? Ha! Do you understand what you've done? Do you think I don't know? This is why we're in the sanctuary now. We have to serve our sentence. While you serve your sentence, the risk of these things getting out is too damn high. You don't understand. That's not the point. 
point. So tell me! Ah, uh, it's a long story. It all started in the 1950s, when U.S. Progress was running the Abyss Scan program. Before you were born, we were already building your future for the progress of humanity. Enough with the history lesson. What were you looking for? Life, of course. Organic life forms that had never been classified. A gold mine of genetic and biochemical research with unbridled potential. That was how we discovered Ram 77, a mysterious new alloy. Wait, you're talking about that strange metal. Strange, you say? I would say revolutionary. It never registered on our detectors. The government initiated Project Hoax, using it to construct military aircraft capable of going undetected by enemy forces. Aircraft that are invisible to radar. Well, if the Cold War had heated up, they would have come in handy, right? <sighs> so everything in those hangars... That was just a facade, my dear girl. We still hadn't understood the true potential of Ram 77. The more we investigated, the more we realized that this alloy would change our understanding of the nature of reality itself. The stakes were rising and then you turned up. Hexacore. What? Don't be so surprised. We know the truth. Oh, don't tell me you don't know who you really work for. Hexacore stole everything from us. Hades watched our every move. But we at U.S. Progress are the true pioneers of molecular transfer theory. Without us, those incompetents wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I didn't know anything about it. Nobody knew. Some knowledge is best kept hidden from the rest of the world. That's why they built an underground city. We had to disappear with our families and leave everything. To live only for research. Living underground, deep within the earth, in the abyss. The world would achieve enlightenment through our sacrifice. We sacrificed so much. He still hasn't forgiven us. We did it for him. They forced us. They made us do it. Who? Who are you talking about? We didn't want to. I, I swear, it wasn't our fault. Please, calm down. I just want to understand. You? No. You have condemned us. What? I don't! Shut up! You pay for what you've done! I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, you crazy bitch! I need to shoot those pylons. Station I saw before. Be my way to the castle. It has to be.
Freeze. There's no end of Hades down here. You. We meet at last. I don't think I've had the pleasure, miss. I heard all about you. As you wish. Let's skip the pleasantries. Just hand over the weapon so we can speak more calmly. Don't move a muscle. Maybe what I heard was exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> You know your stuff. The way I see it, either we keep snarling at each other until one of us pulls the trigger, or you listen to what I have to say. The clock is ticking. We got off on the wrong foot. But we're going to have to cooperate if we want to get out of here alive. You don't have to get out of here alive. If I wanted to kill you, you would already be dead. The last thing I want to do is put my trust in someone from Hades. But I'm all out of options. What's the matter? Too afraid to go alone? Fear is the appropriate response. The entrance to the castle is sealed due to the state of emergency. We're trapped in this fucking tomb. This is the only way out. We'll need to unlock it by deactivating the security system. So what are you waiting for? It's not gonna be easy. There are three sectors. The castle, medical area, and the residential area. Are you serious? Yeah. A few more floors down, we'll go through the center of the earth. Whatever happened down there? It crashed the whole system. After disarming it, we'll need to get an access password from one of the facility managers. A password? We'll be looking for a needle in a haystack. I know. But a lot of the castle managers lived in the same neighborhood. In the residential area. I reckon that's a good place to start looking. Time out. I'm not convinced. God damn it. You'll never make it on your own. We have different objectives. Stop thinking like a soldier. I think we're both here for the same reason. To figure out what's going on. Otherwise, you'd have already pulled the trigger. Think about it. If you really want to shoot me in the head, you can do it later. Now you need me. We'll split up. I'll take care of the security system. You'll find the password. I don't want you getting under my feet. Okay. We keep in radio contact. And when we're done, we'll meet back here. And then you'll kill me, I suppose. Exactly. Hmm. If you can. Anyway, you can call me Reyes. Hey, baby. How's it going at the doctor's? Making an appointment for you, asshole. As soon as we meet again, you're going to need it. <laughs> Can't wait. Seriously, though, you're doing the right thing. The president needs to know what happened. It's the only way to stop this thing happening again. Slow down, cowboy. We aren't on the same team. No, you're not like them. You're just wearing the wrong uniform. Concentrate on finding that fucking password. You don't know anything. Now arriving, medical area. Oh, Christ's sake. Hang in there. Maybe I can free you. Lord, I can't. No, no, a little longer. Uh, Nearly charged. <laughs> 
Since you work here, do you know how to disable the castle security system? The castle? My energy! I don't know! You need to know. Where can I find... Gora, are you receiving me? The system is offline. We should be able to get in. How about you? I have a lead on the whereabouts of one of the castle security officers. I'm on the way to tell him the good news. I'll keep you updated. Okay. There is. You have to get over here right now. What's going on? I need help. There's survivors. I can't abandon them. Gora, we need there to- There are kids here. I'm begging you. Everything's on fire. Okay, okay. Hang tight. I'm on my way. I'll have to go back to the main entrance to reach Gora. I'll feel like a commuter in hell. Destination, Castle. Residential area. Sector. A. City down here. The doctor wasn't kidding. Gora, are you receiving me? There's a huge fire here. Yeah, we're trapped. We barricaded ourselves in a basement, but I don't know how long we can hold out. They're coming at us from all angles. Hold on, I'm on my way. This way. Oh, all right. Get behind me. Oh, oh please, no! Oh no, no, run! There's no one here. It's over. It's not my fault. I was only following orders this time I... Gora, it's over. Raze. I'm here. I couldn't do it. I failed. They were survivors and... the children. Those monsters, they took them away. Not again. It's happening again. They're all dead. You did everything you could. I'm sorry, Gora. We can still stop this. You said so yourself. In tears in front of a Hades agent. If the others could see me right now. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just the two of us. Well, you're right, Reyes. Delilah. Call me Delilah. Hey, about what happened earlier. It doesn't matter. It's over. I know. I just wanted you to know it's not your fault. So who the fuck is to blame for all this? You're all the same. Your commander once tried to tell me the same thing. But I'm the one who has to live with the guilt. And it's a pain that never goes away. So it's true. You knew Foster. He was my commander in Granada. He forced me to abandon my team in the middle of a fucking ambush. I'm alive. Thanks to him, I'll never forgive him. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What do you mean? Foster's dead. Well, I can't say I'll miss him, but I know it hurts. Your comrades die, innocent people die, war sucks. 
Yeah, yeah. Look at the tough soldier girl. While we're in the mood for confessions, why don't you tell me about Helen? What the fuck do you know about Helen? I don't know anything. I screamed her name in terror just before we met in front of the castle. This place pulls all the skeletons out of the closet. So, why don't you tell me about it, Wonder Woman? She's my sister, but... Just leave it. Hey, sorry. I'm an asshole. I didn't it's all mean right. To... I started it. Let's move out. The last thing the situation needs is a couple of old soldiers traumatized by their harrowing past. Okay. What do you think of this place? Looks like they really managed to teleport. It's crazy. Yeah, but at what cost? You think the world needs to know? What are you asking me for? I thought this was why the president sent you here. You certainly don't need my approval. Please, Delilah. For the first time in my life, I don't know what to do. Help me out here. Imagine if this shit got into the outside world. It would be chaos. How can I take responsibility for all this? You keep forgetting that we're soldiers. We follow orders. Stop assuming responsibility. It's the only way we're going to get to the bottom of this. A little simplistic. Maybe so, but taking sole responsibility for deciding what's best for the world? That's madness. Well, I'll happily share the responsibility with you. You don't know anything about me. You don't even know what my orders are. You're right. But as you say, we're here to do someone else's dirty work. Whatever our orders, we're working together now. So, here we go. After you? Isn't this where you're supposed to kill me? Can't wait to die, huh? I can take <sighs> care of that. Roddick! Look who's back. Shut the fuck up, if you don't want me to blow your brains out right now! Okay, okay, calm down, man. What are you doing? That's enough. Put your weapon down. Hell is around the corner. We don't need any more dead. This is bullshit. Don't be fooled by his pretty face. He'd kill you without a second thought. Let's finish hey. this. <laughs> no, Gora. Just fucking stop. Don't move. Neither of you are getting in there. That's the way it is. Like I told you, stay out of it! So, you're even a thorn in the ass of your own squad. Say one more word. <laughs> Don't fuck around! <laughs> you know me! Don't... Delilah, do as he says! I don't know you! Not well enough! Radic signal. With the security system down, maybe I can find another way into the castle. Productivity. That voice. More stable in patients undergoing CRM 114. 
We can now confirm that applying the antitoxin provides the desired results. Hallucinations tend to regress until they fade away completely. Excellent. We'll have them eating out of our hand. The most unexpected data regards patients who are not administered CRM-114. The hallucinations tend to become uniform over time. They all seem to become obsessed with the same thing. Many refer to a hypothetical him. The reasons for this anomaly are not yet fully clear. As long as they're hallucinating, it's fine by me. Yes, Commander. Dr. Rees, we're authorizing experimentation on the subjects in Block B. Excellent. Keep me informed of any developments. Foster, you bastard. I can't believe Helen got caught up in your deranged schemes. You got what you deserved. There were more of them. That blood. Dare you show your face here? You killed them without mercy! It's you. You're back. Before my very eyes. What are you doing? Helen, please forgive it's, me. It's enough. Do you know my sister? You aren't her. You're Delilah. Helen told me about you. Are you... Brian? I'm... Yes, yes, I'm Brian. She was everything to me. I didn't think I'd ever... While everything else was losing its meaning, she was my life. This place allowed us to find each other and to lose ourselves. Where's she now? Where's my sister? Where's she now? Tell me! She's dead. It was my fault. I wasn't myself. I lost control. It was the toxin, that monster. It wasn't me. <laughs> Closest creature to God in the face of the earth. The plan has worked. The ogre is almost charged. The living and the dead have contributed with their light. And she will welcome him in the rebirth. The time has come to finally the God chained by man will be set free. It's Time. Please, please forgive me. I'm sorry you have to bear witness to this. He wanted to take me back, but I can't. Not now. What remains of my will exists only in you, and only because of what I sought to destroy. 
Brian killed me before I could carry out my plan. But through the ogre, I managed to bring you here. It's up to you now, Raiz. What are you? Are you still you? Are you me? My mind, intoxicated by that substance. I am both of us. But I'm him too, now. What is it? The last exemplar of a prehistoric species. His origin lies in an unanticipated fusion, linking this world with a distant planet. Our paths crossed in his genetic heritage. The discovery of the biological material imprinted on Ram 77 set the wheels of fate in motion. Thanks to those genetic segments, a toxin was developed. And when Hexacore spread it within the castle, he started calling out to us from afar. He was the missing link. His unexpected arrival was the first success after years of failure. The first organic transfer. We tried to exploit him for his blood, finally make this epical leap. But we were pawns in his inextinguishable will to survive. He was manipulating you. He wanted to free this monster. On the contrary, I wanted to destroy him. I'd realized the truth. I lied to Brian to achieve my aim. He went out of his way to protect me from this madness. But he didn't think about himself. And the more time passed, the more the ogre crept into him. In the end, only I could clearly see that we were all wrong. That the price we were paying for technological progress was too high. Hundreds of dead, our own humanity. The ogre was a victim of our experiments like so many of us. But now, he must be destroyed. I summoned you, Reis. You must complete what I have started. You just abandoned me to take part in this research. Now you're asking me to destroy it. And lose you again. I didn't understand until it, it was too late. We never really separated. Our bond has survived over time, years of silence. It has overcome even death and has now overcome the will of this millennial creature. I don't want to lose you again. We're not separating. We just got back together. What are you doing? Don't touch it. Gora, you're alive. What's wrong with you? I still have time. I have to... To complete my mission. No, we have to destroy this monster. Can't you see? It's the source of all no. this madness. No, they're all dead already. It doesn't matter anymore. I have orders. Yes, I'm a soldier. I have to follow my orders. Put yourself together. You're delirious. Don't come any closer. If you destroy that creature, that research data will be lost forever. We're out of time. It's about to wake up. I don't care. You don't understand. Helen died for this! Don't make me do it. Please. Gora, stop! I, I don't want to kill you. Gora, I'm begging you.
Foster. Did you hear me? I didn't want you to get involved. 
You weren't even supposed to be here, but that old asshole forced me. He made arrangements for the briefcase with a third party. I don't know who it was. He was risking his ass. He wanted me to be here, but he needed some collateral. That's why you got brought along. Don't bullshit me, Roddick. Was leaving me outside the castle part of the deal? <sighs> this belongs to you. How did you get this? So you knew about her too? I'll explain everything. I trusted you. <laughs> Operation Sandcastle was a partial success. The DNA sample of subject codename Ogre was destroyed, but we were able to prevent Section 8 from collecting research data and uncovering evidence. We believe our primary goal has been achieved. Everything was buried by the desert. Ah. Welcome Grace. back, Major. He left her down there! I'll kill that bastard! Where is that fucking piece of shit? Where is he? I'll kill him with my spare hands! Agent Crane, give him a sedative. You seem collaborative again. Good. Where the fuck is he? If you're referring to Captain Vulcan, he has just been commended for his heroic action. Heroic? Bullshit! He left her to die! He managed to rescue his superior and made sure the entire operation went completely unnoticed. Staying hovering in that sandstorm, they're already calling him Sandman. Fucking assholes. Commander Foster and Special Agent Reyes are dead. The operation was sabotaged, and we didn't obtain the contents of the briefcase. Somebody should have assumed responsibility. 
Don't you get it? Foster had everything set up to screw you over. He was going to sell that damn test tube to the highest bidder. Personal interests of the commander and his loyalty to us are no longer the issue. Now we have a much bigger and more urgent problem. The president. The men he sent on a mission are all dead. The Groom Lake Center no longer exists. Foster certainly bears some responsibility, but one dead culprit isn't enough. The president has ordered your execution, which will take place in the next few hours. How convenient for you. Maybe, but here's the thing. If we go ahead with your execution, we lose one of our baddest motherfuckers. What the fuck do you still want from me? Ivan Raddick must die, but you, you're still in a position to negotiate. You can change your identity and be reassigned to this unit. You get to live on. If nothing else, you'll have the opportunity to plot your revenge. Special Agent Liev. In any case, any evidence of what happened down there has been completely destroyed, as has everyone else involved. The President will just have to suck it up. Thank <laughs> you. 